Volkswagen CEO has given us an idea of when its $25,000 electric car or 20,000 euro EV is coming. I'm not convinced in what he's saying. I believe that he's being optimistic for shareholders benefit. But who knows? Maybe it's true. Maybe you know some stuff that I don't know. I do know this though. Volkswagen Group have cancelled the Trinity project. Um, they're slowing down their EV growth. They're slowing down their EV spend rates. In fact, if you look at Mercedes, they're spending more money right now on EVs than Volkswagen as a grouper. I don't think that makes any sense. But I do think that Volkswagen as a group have a plan. It's not what you want to hear. You're going to hear it probably say, ah, okay. But I think that's what they have to do. And they, they know they have to do this. They just don't want to tell you what their plan is because they'll just quietly do it and say nothing and hope the media doesn't focus on it. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in and welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back, everyone else. The Volkswagen Group have invested large swathes of money. They do owe around 190 billion US dollars. That said, a lot of that debt is financial debt compared to Toyota with similar debt numbers. A lot of, almost all of Toyota's debt is bad debt. 90% of Toyota's debt is bad debt. I know that Toyota people fans hate it when I say that. They often just turn off. They just shut off. They, ah, ah, they go crazy. <laughs> I get emails. <laughs> Don't say this about Toyota. Don't. Anyway. So Volkswagen Group, they've been investing a lot of money in EVs. They've committed to invest $200 billion. And considering their current profitability is at its lowest level in a decade on its cars in general, uh, that's going to be an interesting challenge. I mean, if you're the bank, you're going to say, well, are we going to get our money back? Are we, are we going to get our money back? Or is this, is this going to be a Kodak scenario or a Blackberry scenario? Who knows? But I do know this, Volkswagen Group believes that China is the key to its success. So I believe the Volkswagen Group are making these optimistic predictions saying that their 20,000 euro EV will come in around 2025 because they plan on making them in China. Uh, Dacia Spring, that sells pretty well in Europe. MG4, that sells well in Europe as well. They're both pretty affordable. No one seems to know or care that they're both made in China. So the Volkswagen Group are like, well, let's get on the gravy train. We'll just do the same thing. They've invested, of course, not only in buying a software company to solve its software woes for, I think it was 2.2 billion or something like that. They've also invested in Xpeng. They've invested in, in Sake and their EV platform. They've also invested in Leap Motor. Plus they have their own big investments, Volkswagen and we where they've built a huge multi, multi, multi-billion dollar factory with their joint EV partner. They also have many other investments in China, totally many, many billions of dollars. And they're very heavily invested in China. And the key reason is not just to sell EVs for $25,000 or $20,000 outside of China, but it's also to try and hold onto their dwindling market share in their most important country. 50% historically of the Volkswagen Group's profits come from China. And if it were to lose those profits, it wouldn't be able to pay back its debts. It's really that simple. So Volkswagen's boss, Oliver Bloom, believes that it's now saying 20,000 euro, or that's around 21,700 US dollar EV, will come in the second half of the 2020s, approximately 2025 to 2026. Bloom said at a conference today that he believes that if Volkswagen decides to build an ultra affordable EV for customers who are not willing to spend more than 30,000 euros, it will come after 2025, but no later than 2026. Bloom said the key to reducing EV prices is reducing battery costs. It has invested a massive amount of money in Goshan High Tech who specialize in lithium ion phosphate batteries. They're obviously a cheaper battery technology. This will then result in cheaper electric cars that will bring more customers in at an affordable price point. Right now, EVs are cheaper than they have ever been because there are more options, but also because battery prices have come down enormously. Now, I don't really understand what he said recently. He said last week, 
he believed that gear casting was a bad idea and he re listed some reasons on why he, too hard to replace them and rah, rah, rah. now i want to keep in this in mind though tesla sells its gear casting mega piece to insurers for 900 dollars. doesn't exactly sound expensive to me and toyota hyundai ford kia and of course volvo plus some other manufacturers have ordered in fact eight different manufacturers in china have ordered giga presses and they believe that they're the future so i think volkswagen as a group might want to jump on that bandwagon as soon as they can if they truly want to make a $21,700 electric car that is actually worth buying. Many automakers have been talking about release revealing a or selling an EV for around $25,000. Obviously, Tesla's one of them. And I think probably they're the key driver for why so many automakers, big ones, legacy automakers are saying, oh, we promise we'll bring one out for $25,000. We'll do it as well. Yeah. They're not saying it like that, of course, but they are making those similar claims. I think, though, to do that, you've got to do what Tesla's doing. Lithium-ion phosphate batteries, gigacasting, megacasting, structural battery packs. Make things as efficiently as possible. Consider every little detail. That's what they need to do to make one at a profit. Why do I say that? Why do I make those comments? Like, why, why is that relevant? Why am I t saying that, making that comment when these CEOs should know exactly how to do it? Now, if the CEOs knew exactly how to do it do you think they might be doing it now are any of them doing it now is anyone other than BYD and tesla making a single dollar of profit on any ev they sell well the straight out flat out answer is no what are your thoughts let me know in the comments thank you for watching